Hello and welcome to the Hanson Cement Plant down on Port Talbot in South Wales. Um, today I'm going to briefly show you what we've been up to in the Rice Project as part of Swansea University um, and our production of hydrogen on site in an industrial setting. So what we've got here is a industrial research project where we're trying to offset the emissions of carbon dioxide. Now cement is obviously one of the industries that produces an awful lot of carbon dioxide. It's a very energy intensive process. What we're going to do is we take some renewable energy, which I will show you in a second, and we use that renewable energy through modern electrolyzers and low cost, high efficiency electrolyzers in order to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen can then be taken out of this unit and sent to the burners where it supplements some of the natural gas and the oxygen can just be released into the atmosphere. So here you can see that we've got some solar panels on the side of our unit here. We've also got a wind turbine up on the very top of the silo. Right on the very top of the cement silo. So that turbine there is producing three kilowatts of energy. So this is now the inside of the unit here on the Hanson plant. What we've got is we've got an energy input which comes from the solar panels and the wind turbine up on the top of the silo. The electricity that comes in is rectified so it's a DC current coming through and we feed that into this unit here which is the electrolyzer. Now the electrolyzer is very clever. What it does is it rips water apart. Now water is made of hydrogen and oxygen, so when you electrolyze water you get pure hydrogen and pure oxygen. Inside we have some membranes that separate the hydrogen from the oxygen, and the oxygen comes out here, and you can see these bubbles here, and the hydrogen comes out this side. So these bubbles coming out of the red vent are pure hydrogen gas from the water splitting process, whilst the bubbles coming out of the blue side are oxygen. The oxygen can simply be vented to the atmosphere, whilst the hydrogen is passed through the system into a separating column through a simple scrubbing process that removes any electrolyte that has been trapped in the gas before being passed up and sent out to the, um, to the burners. In green here you can see we have a very simple manometer and that shows that we have a very small head of pressure that is driving the entire system because the hydrogen is being vented into the burner at atmospheric pressure. Now on the oxygen side, the oxygen comes out of the blue vent here on the electrolyzer, is passed up into a similar separating column, this time it is a blue separating column with the electrolyte passed back to the main tank. The oxygen is then passed through a simple rotary gas meter before it is released to the atmosphere. So what's really clever about this system is that we have really robust electrolyzers that actually operate using rainwater. They're low cost, high efficiency and have a long lifetime. The purpose of this RICE project really is about proving to industry that we can produce hydrogen on site for their needs. The biggest learning curve from this process hasn't actually been the technology. What it's been is it's been the safety standards and the HAZOP studies and all of the other procedures needed in order to take something out of a lab and put it onto an industrial site.